So we're about to board the last flight. Now we're here and I can't keep it a secret anymore. <laughs> service coming through. <laughs> this is the modern society where the girls do the heavy lifting. <laughs> so if you want to leave your stuff just here for now and I'll show you around. Yep. Are you excited? Yeah. Finally, oh. the day has come. You have to remember I've been waiting for this for like almost a year now. So I am thrilled. And this camper looks sick. As I said, I've been planning this for a long time. Surprising my girlfriend with this trip took a lot of effort, but it was so worth it. Check out this video to see how it was revealed. How did I catch you? Here we go. I might fail miserably. Left side driving. Oh my god. <laughs> it feels so wrong. <laughs> Traveling from Norway to New Zealand is quite the distance, so we started out easy after arriving. The first day was spent stocking up on food and driving to our first campground. We've been traveling for, I think we have surpassed 40, 40 hours now. So a quick meal and then it's just good night from New Zealand. And hopefully we'll wake up bright and early tomorrow. It's just past 3 a.m. I've given up on getting any more sleep. Yep. And uh, have some energy. Sleepy head. Oh. And we're ready to seize the day. Yep. So guys, this is Lake Tekapu and uh, our holiday, or our camp rather, was just over there and uh, it's situated right next to this gorgeous lake. I mean, look at this. Clouds are drifting in a bit, as you can see. But this morning was amazing. The most amazing light. We're off to a good start. The lunch is okay, but the view is magnificent. <laughs>
So how about this for a location? Wow! I can't believe it, we just like fell over it. Yeah, this didn't appear in any research we did. It looks very much like a, a one national park we visited in USA, called Bryce. It's not very accessible. No, at least not in a huge car, but it was worth it. This is where we ended up today. When you have a camper van, you can park wherever you like. Okay, we're looking at hamburger, taco, or pasta. I'm a sucker for taco. Taco? Yes. Job well done. Okay, dig in. We have arrived at Royce Peak Track, which is up there. So Simon is packing the bag and we're going to head up. I'm out of breath. Ah, yeah, it's hot. It's so it's steep nice. up here. Look at this view. Hopefully we'll make it to the top. <laughs> Connect the camper van with power. La 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 are on the way to Furgberger. The famous one. The famous one. Which apparently everyone is going to. <laughs> so we waited about 40 minutes for the famous Furgberger and here it is. Ah! We cannot let it go cold. I think we have to run. We are all packed up and ready for a quite exciting adventure. It's gonna be action filled today, let's just uh, reveal that much. It's gonna be fast, scary and potentially kind of wet. <laughs> I could say Sunday for day. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> It's working! <laughs> I feel like I have magic! He brought his whole squad. Oh. Hey mate, don't spit on me please. Oh man, he has the most epic haircut. <laughs> mm. 
current uh, weather situation on the roads towards Milford Sound. I guess this is the true authentic New Zealand, so it's kind of nice to have experienced this as well. Finally got power. I'm trying to edit the last set of photos, showing it to Simon, and we have to buy something to use the power. So we have uh, bought popcorn. I think Simon is at the movies. You're gonna leave something for me, aren't you? <laughs> okay, better get this over with then.